Hey there guys, FIFA fella here, and I know, crazy it's not a journeyman video, some of you will be furious about this, but hey, at least it's a short video, right? One of the questions I get asked most on Twitter in the comment section is what I would recommend people do for their player careers. Should they be Benedict Tony? Which legend should they be the son of? What story could they play out? So, I thought what I could do is make a short sweet video on three player careers I would recommend. If you yourself have done any interesting player careers, drop them in the comments for others to see. Even if you don't play FIFA but you think you have some good ideas, let me know down below because then what I can do is actually steal these ideas from you, pass them off as my own and just solidify myself as the number one guy in the FIFA player career community. But enough of the rambling, let's get into idea number one. Much like the Benedictoni series, I still think one of the most fun things you can do is to create a character who is the son of a legend in FIFA. Because you can pick absolutely anyone. It doesn't have to be the son of Pele or Maradona. It doesn't even have to be a cult hero like Luca Toni. You can pick anyone that you want. Your favourite player when you were a child. Whatever you want to do. I would recommend, personally, choosing a slightly obscure country and staying there for two or three seasons to make it even more unique. But it's up to you, you can either follow your own path, you can follow your father's path like the original plan was for Benedict Tony, but we went, we went a bit wayward, you know, you can do what feels right for you. Two people I would recommend starting as the son of, Damien Duff or Roy Keane. Why? Who knows? Start in the Irish League and see if you can sneak into the Champions League with them or dominate the division and eventually make the big move over to England. Both players also would fit the bill for our second category. <laughs> This one just more serves as a general rule of thumb for me. Try to pick a unique build to play with. If you're going to be a striker, be one that struggles in a game like FIFA, such as a target man like Benedict Tony. And yes, that is my excuse as to why Benedict is so bad. Just deal with it, okay? It's nothing to do with me. Don't just go onto YouTube and load up the latest JCC video for the best striker build to use and score 50 goals in your first season. Change it up. I see very few people play as a winger, which is why I recommended Duff. Same with a tough tackling midfielder with Keane. I would personally watch the hell out of a player career where someone is a defender. These positions make you so much less influential in the game rather than being a 5'6 striker and mean the game won't just be won or lost by the decisions you make. It will make you feel like so much more part of the team and much more excited when you do eventually win something, like when we finally won promotion with Fulham thanks to Fratezzi. It will make you notice your teammates more. Can't stress it enough, don't just be a tiny striker. Finally, and this is perfect for people who aren't looking to do a whole career, maybe you're just looking to play for a season or so over a week, then move on to something new. Absolutely nothing wrong with that, and EA have just brought out a new patch which makes for the perfect scenario to do this. What they've done is added a soccer A team full of icons, but no Oli Murs! You have a bunch of players here that are perfect to use for just one season. Here's a quick tutorial of how to add these players to your game. It's so straightforward, you're going to settings, edit team, Search for the player you want, boom, you're going to find him there. Make sure you've downloaded the updates. For this one, we've gone with Alan Shearer. I'll get more into that in a minute, but guess what, guys? It takes a minute. You don't need to make a 13-minute video on it and make your viewers just sit there watching you do it for 13 minutes. It takes 30 seconds. Don't take the piss out of your viewers. Sorry, guys, went on a tangent there. But, I mean, you can really take the pick of any of these and play as and build your own story. You could do Pelé in Europe for the first time. You could stick Maldini and Baresi at Milan play as one of them and make them the greatest centre-back pairing the world has ever seen all over again. The one that I would recommend, personally, is to stick Alan Shearer back at Newcastle. Shearer is still the player with the most goals in Premier League history, but one of his records has been snatched away from him in recent years. His 31 goals in a single season was a record that stood and was at best equalled for 23 years until Mo Salah turned up and scored 32 in the 2018 season. We have one year every game matters. Get Shearer his record back and score over 32 goals in a terrible Newcastle team. Yeah, good luck with this one, you're going to need it. If you think you can succeed, and if you do succeed, tweet me some proof at fifafella underscore because I honestly don't think any of you have a chance with this one. If you did enjoy this video, do let me know down below and I'll try and think of some further challenges for you guys. Check out my other videos if you get the chance, stay safe and of course, have a good day. Arriva Dutch, everybody. I did the kiss. Is it weird to hear the kiss and not be able to see it? Thanks for watching again.